video for chapter 3.5 in the book AutoCAD 2018 tutorial second level 3D modeling um, first what I do I create a profile here which is 3.75 and is 1.75 top to bottom and one point two five to this surface sixty degree angle and also a twenty five degree angle here okay and the depth uh, I'm just looking at a previous books and it it doesn't show it in here but in the previous books it was one and a half so I just use one and a half for the extrusion or the depth of this. So just draw, draw a line on a. Th remember, you're on a 30 degree angle here, so, so, and F5 is going to change your plane. So make sure you're on the right plane. Draw a one and a half inch line, and then just copy it to these places. And you have a quarter inch thickness. What I like to do is just come to like one point here and draw. For instance, I would just come here, make sure I'm on the right angle, and type in 0.25 and then hit enter. And this is going to give me a line. And it will be a line on top of a line, but at least you will have the right place to start here. And then just copy this line over to here and then you can delete it and do the same thing just copy copy this line over copy that line over same deal come over here draw a quarter go to line pick this spot make sure you're on the right angle type in 0.25 enter hit escape and then go to copy copy this line over delete that quarter inch line and then just copy everything over and then you it'll start taking shape and you can use your trim command extend command and get this shape and finally you will have this shape and all you need after that is to use the remember you're going to use the ellipse axis in iso circle use f5 to make sure you're in the right plane and what i would do to find for instance to find the center is, is go to line pick this point type in 1.5 enter And see, I can find my center like that. And then the height is going to be 0.75. So what I would do is just go line, come to this point, go straight up, type in 0.75, enter, come over. And now I've located my center. And then I can change these to my center layer and center marks. And I'll have my center for my ISO circles. I'm going to go ahead and erase those because I already have that done. And, and that's how I find my center. And then the other one on the other side is just an offset. Okay. Again, you're going to go back and you're going to use dim, et, dim edit to get your dimensions go back and look at the previous videos and you can see how to uh, use dim edit and dim t edit now these aren't again these aren't rotated properly but for my students I don't take off one way or the other I again if you see my other videos I kind of like it this way for me for the shop it's easier to read all in one direction like this um, dim T edit is going to line it up like with this line and it's going to rotate these on this um, plane. 
So either way, right or wrong, um, whatever your instructor tells you to do, that's how you do it. Um, remember, you may have to, what I have to do sometimes when I, to get my angles, I have to come down here and remember that AutoCAD starts zero at three o'clock and goes counterclockwise, so 12 o'clock would be 90. And you're starting on a 30 degree angle and you're just going to have to do the math and it'll come to you to get these angles. Um, and sometimes I just I just kind of create something like this where I can get my proper angles to uh, create the isometric view. Okay.